Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing another plan as I go memory keeping spread. The kit I'm going to be using is this Little Miss Papery mystery box. It was kind of this fall theme, so it was like my last chance to use it. She also, it was a collab with um, the Coffee Monsters Co. She used Helen's clip art. And I had actually already gotten this Coffee Monsters Co. kit that you're seeing here before I picked up the Little Miss Papery one. But I, and I thought I was going to try and combine them, but I ended up not really using the Coffee Monsters Co. kit much at all. So, and hers is a little bit less like fall themed. She only has like one fall themed box. So I think I'm going to save hers for like a winter kit because that girl with the beanie is so cute. So anyway, I am going through first up and putting my bottom washi down. I think this is a washi from Simply Gilded. I'm almost positive. Um, it's just these pretty gold foil arrows. Very nice and simple. And then I'm gonna go through with my meal stickers and just put those down. I just use this as like a place to basically just track like what did I actually eat in, in you know, compared to what I did for my meal planning. Uh, in general, I feel like I have a little bit of a hard time with like, I'm kind of over buying at the grocery store because I end up eating out more than I really think I'm going to, which is not good. So I need to either get better about sticking to my plans or just like get better about real meal prep. Like, and I like do meal prep, but it's like, I just don't want to, like, I don't want to be without stuff. So I'll pick up like, oh, I don't think I'm going to eat this tofu this week, but I'll pick it up anyway. And it's like, I don't need to get that, you know, and then it just sits in the fridge and then it's like, I kind of use it in a few weeks later. But anyway really rambling there. On to my sidebar, I just put that habit tracker there to track my Instagram posts as well as that quote box, which I thought was so pretty. And here I'm just kind of fussing with some washi and the little happy mail sticker to track my incoming happy mail. Um, I just like to see kind of what I get each week. And I'm going to use just one of the ombre heart checklists. I really love this purple color. It's so bold. I just, it looks, looked so pretty. And then uh, just putting some more washi down and the weekly ombre, and that is to track my videos. So I'm just using a this week header on that. And then in the bottom portion, I'm just going to take some plain washi and I couldn't really find a header I liked. So I just, I'm going to use a little list header on top. And that is really just to track my Instagram and my YouTube, although I totally forgot to fill it out at the end of the week. And now it's like too late to go back and grab the actual numbers. But oh, well, um, now I'm just taking the today headers and putting them at the top of each day. Just, to, you know, basically, like I say, every week is an opportunity to like cover those headers. Since I don't use glitter headers, it's like good, like a good way to just get one of those covered up and not have to worry about covering it with washi or something. Now on to Monday. Monday morning, I went for a run. So I am taking these little Crafts by Towie sneakers. I, that little purple one I thought went, you know, fairly well. Um, and I just did a short run, like two and a half miles. Uh, that's really like right now, two and a half miles seems to be my max for weekday mornings. Like I can run more than that on the weekends, no problem. But just in terms of both time and energy, that's like where I'm at for the weekdays. And I feel fine about that. That takes me a little under like a half hour. So that's perfect. And then uh, I marked down using a, a little thing and a once more with love angry munchkin that safe track started again. Safe track is the Metro, which is like the DC subway. It's their like improvement program that involves a lot of construction. And right now it's affecting my line and it's adding like 15 to 45 minutes to my commute each way, which is driving me insane. Um, but it is over for good on December 21st on my section. So excited about that. Um, and then on, uh, I put down the full box and I used another little thing and once more with love cooking munchkin to mark down that um, I had like a nice time making dinner with my husband. We just kind of cooked together and we're chatting while we cooked. And then I use the to-do header and a little uh, uh, heart checklist that I cut down into just three hearts to mark down some things I wanted to do that night, just some YouTube stuff, and then um, picking up uh, our house because it was like a disaster. Um, and then I didn't really have anything else I did that night, so I decided to just put some deco at the bottom to fill up the space. And then on to Tuesday, I am going to use a quote box in the morning that, again, that 
beautiful purple. I love this color. Um, and just going to layer some washi underneath it to cover up that header. And then um, I had a busy work day. You will notice an increasing um, <laughs> description of my work week. Each day this week, the description gets like a little bit more uh, elevated, let's say. Today it was just busy. Um, and I just put a once more with love. Oh, and I'm going back and putting a munchkin on Monday that's like, fuh, it's Monday, because I just saw them and I was like, why not? That looks cute. But I'm also going to grab a computer one to just mark down that I had a busy work day on Tuesday. And it was like so busy and also with the metro and everything, I ended up having to skip the workout class I wanted to do. So I'm grabbing kind of like a little frazzled munchkin and, or not munchkin, that's an emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. And putting it on a flag just to mark down that I had to skip my workout, which was kind of annoying. Um, and then I'm just marking down um, that we got takeout for dinner from Nando's. And I'm going to take a little, uh, oh, I'm going to go back and change that color because I do like when they match, but then I kind of forgot to do that for the rest of the spread, so... That's okay. Anyway, and then I'm taking a little uh, list or a ombre heart checklist and cutting it into a little list to mark down that I just watched two TV shows that night. Um, and I, they're not really to-dos, so it feels a little silly to put them in like a to-do list and check them off. But I think it just, it's like kind of adds some variety to like how you're outlining stuff in the spread. And then I did some editing. So I used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that down over a little thing. And then I packed lunches for the rest of the week and like my snacks and everything. So I used a Piper Paper Co. Uh, lunch bag. And finally, I finished picking up the house because we had a cleaning appointment the next day. So I just put that on a little thing at the bottom. And now I'm just going back and filling in some of my sidebar with the package that's, that had arrived so far. And then on to Wednesday, I'm just putting the full box down at the bottom first so that I don't forget. And then that morning, I'm going to go ahead and fill in that I went, I did a workout at my office gym. I am lucky to have a gym in my office with like showers and they provide towels and like shampoo and everything. So it's so convenient. So it's even really nice, like even if I don't like work out there I can still use the showers and stuff so that's really nice but anyways it was a really I didn't have much time so I just did like a you know quick run on the treadmill and then some weights and so I took that little uh emoji from Coffee Monsters Co that has like kind of lifting the weights and like straining um to mark that down and then I had another busy day and this one kind of escalated from like working happily on the computer to the side eye that you see there. That's the side eye emoji because I was just kind of frustrated with everybody um, that, you know, sometimes it feels like you're creating your own work, uh, if that makes any sense, or creating your own urgency. So I was a little frustrated. But I did then um, mark down time to read. I did have some good time reading on the Metro. I was like really into my book. That's a sticker from Piper Paper Co. Uh, so I just marked that down. Like I, I read some, you know, I often read on the Metro, but I like, it's pretty rare that I read both ways on the Metro and I'm like, I'm totally engrossed um, and also don't get uh, car sick. <laughs> so, so it was, so I had a good um, session. So I wanted to mark that down. Then I'm just cutting down an ombre heart checklist again to mark down my to-dos, mostly YouTube stuff, um, just marking that down. And then on to Thursday, Thursday morning, I went to a spin class. It was actually a really good spin class. It was like the instructor just really used like the beat really well. It was really fun. So, and I'm taking a little Once More With Love munchkin. I think those are so funny to use because they have the helmets on, which is so dumb because you don't wear helmets at spin class, but it cracks me up. I don't know why. It just is really funny. Uh, and so now, like I mentioned, an escalating series of events this work week. Now we are going to call this a horrible day, not just busy. Um, I It was just a really bad day. I like, 
you know, like, it was just, it was just like, oh my god, how, why, like, <laughs> it was just not good, so I'll come back to that in a second, and then I realized I had forgotten on Wednesday to mark down that we had a cleaning service come, and I do like to track that, just so I kind of know the intervals that they come at, um, and because having a clean house makes me really happy, especially when I didn't have to do the work, to be perfectly honest, so I'm lifting up that little, uh, I had put a little thing down that said I spent some time with my husband. I just lifted that up because I figured that wasn't that important to note. And instead I'm putting in a cleaning appointment and I'm going to take a once more with love little cleaning um, munchkin to put there to do that. So now back to Thursday and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad work day. I am going to take a Coffee Monsters Co. angry emoji saying fuck off because that's the kind of day I had. So... Oh, well, sorry, you know, excuse my French, I guess, as they say. But anyway, when I got home, which was pretty late, I just, we had like just a few chores to do. I did them while my husband was cooking. Um, so just, you know, doing kind of trash and dishes. And then we also recorded a cute birthday message for our nephew. So that was like, that was like one nice thing. So I wrote that down. And then I'm just going to take some washi to cover up that header and sat down for a bit to watch um, football with my husband. So I tried to kind of write that in on the little thing I had just pulled up, but it didn't really fit. So I grabbed a new one that's a TV little thing to mark that down. Um, and then I am going to take a flag and a little laptop. Well, I'm kind of fussing around first. So, but basically to mark down that I did have to do a little bit more editing because the editing never ends, as I will shortly write down. I don't remember if that laptop was from the kid. It actually might have been from my sheet of Little Miss Papery glitter laptops. I'm pretty sure it is, actually. Um, and then I took a bath time uh, sticker that that was from Planning Roses to mark down I needed to take a bath that night to, like, decompress. So I <laughs> took a bath, um, and that was really nice. And then on to Friday. Friday morning I didn't do anything, so I'm just putting in a full box to fill the space. And I'm going to lift this one up because I decided I wanted to save that. And I'm going to use this cute quote one. And then I'm going to cover that up with the washi, but I realized I did actually go to Starbucks, so I wanted to mark that down. So I'm just taking the coffee from the kit and layering it over a little thing to mark down my Starbucks run. And then for lunch that day, I tried pho for the first time. It looks like pho, but I think it's pronounced pho, like the Vietnamese noodle soup. So I grabbed a once more with, once more with love, like ramen uh, munchkin and because it was on a sampler. I really need more of those though, because I've been obsessed with noodle soups lately. If you guys uh, watch these, you know that. Um, but I had never eaten pho and I would describe it as it was not as good as ramen, but it definitely felt not as terrible for me, if that makes sense. So that was good. Um, but we had like, they always order lunch for us on Friday. So that was nice. And then I marked down my workout that night. My husband and I went to our Elevate class and I marked that down with the half box and that really cute girl lifting weight sticker from Crafts by Towie. And then I am going to put a little list at the bottom of Friday night because I just had like a nice kind of like, you know, relaxing, productive night in, if that makes sense. Like I did laundry, but kind of like while I was watching YouTube and I called my mom and we had a nice chat and I baked cookies. So it was kind of, it was kind of productive, kind of relaxing, like a really, it was nice. Um, I used just the little laundry day sticker from the kit because I just wanted to use that and I did get a lot of laundry done. And then, like I said, I did bake cookies, so I grabbed a little Once More With Love baking munchkin um, to mark down that I made gingerbread cookies. They were definitely from a mix, but the frosting I made by hand, which was a huge pain because I do not own a standing mixer. Um, so that was intense, but I did it. And on to Saturday. That both days this weekend, I was so exhausted. Normally I'm the type I'm up at like 8.30, 9 at the latest on the weekends. I slept on both days until my husband's alarm, like after 10. So I was just exhausted. I just hadn't like, cause work had been so intense this week. I guess I hadn't been sleeping. So I used the lazy day on Saturday to kind of mark down that I just had a lazy morning. 
and then use another munchkin to mark down that I did some YouTube that afternoon before I then went to the White House. And I know some of you guys wanted to hear about that. Um, I'm just doing some stuff at the top. You can see what I'm doing. But anyway, so the White House, it was like, because my friend works for the administration, she was able to bring a few friends to what they called the holiday open house at the White House. And you get to go and you get to go on a, basically a self-guided tour of the open areas of the White House that are all decorated for Christmas. Um, it was really, really lovely. They had like live music um, and, you know, they had a really nice booklet that provided some history of each room and like why it was decorated that way. I have a uh, cookie recipe that is Michelle's favorite oatmeal cookie recipe. So that felt pretty cool. Um, it was just a really nice event. And it just, especially for my two friends, two of my friends that were there work in the administration. And for them, I was actually really emotional just cause like, you know, last time they'll get to do it. Um, well, one of my friends will continue to work for at her job, but the other one won't. So, um, and just the, how, how much things are going to change in DC. So it was a really nice event. I felt really honored to be able to go on Obama's last year in office. So that was really cool. And then anyway, everything else so far that you're seeing has been from the kit except for that sleep late sticker is from Piper Paper Co. And so that was on Sunday and then we got up and went to Starbucks. I went with my husband and then we went to just get some quick groceries and I marked that down with a Coffee Monsters Co. shopping cart and or like shopping emoji. And then I just did some planning and filming and went for a longer run. And then I got back and got ready because my friend actually came over. It was kind of last minute. Like I didn't put it in my Erin Condren for the week because we just decided to do it um, kind of midweek. But she came over just, she had to return something to me and she was going to be in the area. And she's like, can I just stop by? And so she stopped by and watched football with us. It was so fun. Like I don't have really friends that live in my neighborhood. So I don't get to do those kind of drop by things anymore. Um, but I, I did miss it. So it was nice to just have her come by for like a few hours and not have it be like a whole big thing where we have to meet up you know in the city and go out to dinner like it was really casual and fun um so anyway marked that down with a uh once more with love football emoji put down a little list of chores and then put down the westworld finale and that was the end of my week so that is it for this spread here is what is left in this kit still lots left i always have that problem um but i will use it at some point i'm sure and that is it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Definitely subscribe to see more. I've really been enjoying these plan as I go rewind, so I'll keep doing them. And that's it for me. Thank you guys as always for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.